in Austria in case you didn't know because I definitely didn't uh, we left at 4 in the morning 4 30 in the morning from the train station in Florence took the train to Bologna and then flew out of the Bologna airport to Vienna to take a bus to get to the city center which is where we are now at. we're at a cafe she ordered a mocha I got some tea, and then we both got open face sandwiches with ham on mine and then salami on her. This is St. Stephen's Cathedral. Do you remember the architectural significance of this building? This is the secession building. It's where a bunch of people who were not happy with the way architecture was developing, but also kind of stagnating, they met and like created the Art Nouveau movement. Wow. You hear that, ladies and gents? This building is important. Honestly, I don't know what I ordered, but here she is. This is the restaurant.
p.m. in Vienna, Austria. It's starting to get very, very cold. Um, it's October, um, so I have like this this water resistant jacket and then a coat. That, oh, sorry. I'm about to go on this ride right here. That's why I'm able to talk a bit. So this thing, uh, this whole amusement park thing, from what I understand, it's kind of like an Oktoberfest kind of scenario, but there's like a lot of rides here. I mean, some of them are wild. I don't know. Happened to stumble upon it. We didn't plan this at all. Oh my gosh. You can see I'm so cold. Ah! Okay. Well, after, I think after Antoinette finishes up on this ride, I think she's, I'm pretty sure she's on it right now. I don't know. I don't like roller coasters, so that's why I'm not there. But, anyways, after this, we're gonna get dinner and then check into our hostel. So, excited for that. There's our girl right there. She's getting ready to go. Rushing onto the train from our flight out of Vienna, we got to Bologna, took a train from Bologna to Florence, like one of the fast bullet trains, and then we were like, oh, we can make the free museum day thing. So me and Antoinette had to run to get to the Uffizi Gallery. So now I'm at the Uffizi Gallery. Ooh, what's up? What's up? Look happy. Thank you. actually been a little over a month which <laughs> sorry um, if you're uninterested in my life then now is probably a good time to click away it's not like a fun little vlog thing anymore uh, I just wanted to update you on some things so in one month in Florence it's been wild um, I you've seen everywhere that I've been well anyway everywhere that's like a, a vlog related place but since I've been here, I've really been working on like myself and getting enough sleep and just like making food because I don't know if you know anything about me, but I don't cook. I'm very bad at it. And so I've been, so far I've been boiling eggs for myself. So I wake up every morning uh, at eight o'clock. Um, I get out of bed by 8.30. I leave my house by 8.45 because I shower the night before. And on my walk to school, I eat a boiled egg, a hard boiled egg, because I learned how to do that recently. And then I have Italian class from nine to noon. And then in the middle, we have a break. And then during the break, I always eat an apple. And then after that, I, I, um, I've been going to the San Ambrosio market, walking through, sometimes I get stuff. Usually I'm buying plants instead of food, which is probably not good. But it's okay, you know, you know these plants? I'll show you this soon. Because plants, like, they definitely got the vibe, and I'm really here for it. So, in terms of Italian classes, um, I don't know how much, I think there's only two more weeks left of my Italian 
class, like my initial Italian class, and then after that we get a week, and then after that uh, my architecture and Italian classes start. I uh, just signed up for classes for fall. I realized that I'm going to be having to take 20 units both semesters again in order to not get super far behind in school and in order to not take a 16 year of college. God, that'd be awful. But my Italian's going pretty well. Um, today we this is my Italian notebook. It was two dollars, two euro at um, this place called Flying Tiger. I feel like I've talked about it. Today we were tested on uh, like different, um, this is called the Proposizione Articolate. And it's just like, if you, you have to add two of them together, it's like, and the, and then so those would be like D plus L is del. So we were tested on that today. And then also I had to write a script this one, uh, it's supposed to be like 50 words long, but I always do like twice the amount because I feel like the prompt is just so, it's like, describe your day. How am I supposed to describe my day in less than 50 words? So here, I'll read you a little excerpt <laughs> from the script that I prepared for this morning's exam. Mi sveglio a la otto y mi alzo a la otto y mezzo. That means I wake up at 8 and I get up at 8.30. Comencio a andare a scuola a la otto y quaranta cinque. Durante la mia passeggiata mangio un uovo solo. So that means um, on, I start my walk to school at 8.45 and during my walk I eat a well egg. A scuola studio l'italiano. Durante la pausa mangio una mela. Dopo la scuola vado al mercato di Santa Rogio e compro una pianta. That means um, at school I study Italian. During the break I eat an apple. And after school, I go to the uh, San Ambrosio market and I buy a plant, which is very accurate because I have 10 plants now. But okay, 10 plants, but like uh, some of them are like 50, euro, 50 cent plants. And so they're like, they're like really small. So I only have like three big plants. <laughs> okay, it's good. it is getting a bit wild, I know. Um, in terms of clothing, I haven't bought too much. I bought two jackets because I didn't bring a single jacket with me because they told me not to, which is a pretty a pretty good plan because not like none of my jackets were that warm because I've been living in California. Um, so yeah, I have jack. I bought two, so I, uh, like a coat thing, and then I have the waterproof one that I was talking about earlier, and then I bought the like green sweater that I was wearing in my last vlog when I was in Austria, and. Oh, that what the dress that I wore to the uh, Casa Machiavelli. So I haven't bought too much clothes, but I this week I did buy a pair of sunglasses <laughs> and a pair of blue light glasses. So my sunglasses, they're some Swedish brand, I don't know. They weren't, they're like middle of the road priced sunglasses. I have, I have yet to own a pair of sunglasses that weren't under ten dollars. So. I don't know, I'm excited. So me and Alex picked this one out. Ooh, ooh, kill him. And then for my blue light glasses that I picked up today, I'm so excited. Look at that. Wow, now I can look at computer screens and my eyes will not hurt. Well, cause sometimes like after a while, like I get headaches and I, I don't know, they're just kind of fun for me right now, but also they serve a good purpose. So there you go. <laughs> but. Yeah, it's been, it's crazy living in another country because I'm just, I feel like I'm like so used to it. Like, um, I will, like if I watch an American show, all of the streets look huge and all of the cars are so big. Because here all the cars are so small and every, and every street is like one lane, like one way, one lane. And it's, it's wild. Like, I don't know, there's just so many best friends that like I kind of wish that I knew how to ride one, but like, the drivers here are so wild. I don't think I ever could. I don't know. Uh, yeah, beyond like cooking for myself and like this is some tea that I'm drinking. Ooh, baby, it's <laughs> we're all great. Um, I'm just. Oh, I went to two soccer games this week. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so there's a there's a soccer team that my school has. They're not. I mean, we're not very good but it's still really fun because it's like uh, all the study abroad schools, I think. Each one gets like a soccer team in 
I've just been going to the games and like cheering because they're only like 45 minutes long and not a far walk so I'm just stayed. Support my buddies. <laughs> and also my art final. Sorry, my brain is just like jumping back and forth. It's like, that's how I am, just trust me. <laughs> um, but so my art final is next week on Wednesday. Uh, I'll probably try to show you guys if it's, assuming it's not that bad because you know, I'm very like self-conscious about the quality of art that I do just because that's, that's my energy, you know? But I'll try to show you. <laughs> I hope it turns out well. I'm really nervous. The teacher's kind of uh, eccentric. Um, so yeah, for that I have to do like two drawings and it could be like whatever medium I choose that we've like gone over in class. And, oof, it's wild. It's been a while. I'm, okay, well, I'm so excited to be here for eight, and, well, seven and a half more months. Um, and I just want to say thank you again so, so much for watching. And if you have any questions, which you probably won't because only my family and friends watch this, but <laughs> if you're a stranger and you want, you have any follow-up questions or if you're my friend and you have some follow-up questions, leave comments below or also you can Snapchat me. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Ciao.